Hi everybody, and welcome to my new TV studio. How you like this, huh? What a view, huh? If it were only real. I'm actually in my new TV studio that I built in the garage. And there's no air conditioning, so if I'm perspiring by the end of this, then you'll just have to forgive me. New microphone, too. How about that? Mm. Okay, today we're going to talk about the summer of 1954 and the weather. Folks, it was hot. It was really hot. How hot was it? Well, I'm going to tell you, so just hang in there. 1954 in the summer. We're talking about May through September. Now, <clears throat> what I have here before me are several pages, uh, five or so, from each month of that time period, and these are weather records. Now, let's see one up close on the screen. Uh, these are cl climatological records that were kept in individual towns all across the country, and the records were kept by local people who would write down the high, the low, and the average, or let's see, the high, the low temperature, and the temperature at a certain time of day when they did their, their actual record keeping. In my little hometown of Geneva, Alabama, this record was kept down in the lower right-hand corner. You'll see Rebecca E. Campbell. She was a sixth grade school teacher there. I love that woman. She was my favorite teacher. I apologize to any other teachers that might be watching, but she was wonderful. And she taught for years and years and years. And every morning on her way to school at 730, she would stop on the river bridge and take a reading of the level of the water in the river. And that was very important, um, you know, especially during times of flood, to keep records of that. And she also kept uh, records of the high and low and the, and the rainfall and the snowfall. Now, let's face it, Geneva was a mile and a half from the Florida line as the crow flies, but it did snow there once in a blue moon. And that's actually kind of a neat thing, because if you're ever trying to date something specifically there... And, and you say, well, I know it happened right after that snow we had when I was in the eighth grade. Well, you can probably nail it down with looking at these records here. By the way, they're all available online. Uh, I post the link down below in the comments, and you can go there. They're free. You download them by the month for your individual town all across the United States. Listen, if a town of 3,000 people like Geneva has this, most places do. So you're, you're going to find them. And they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun just to go through. And speaking of which, let's get into this now. 1954. And what I want to do is start, uh, kind of give you a quick overview of this thing. Uh, you see up at the top in the upper corner, right, it says May and uh, 1954 and then it's in Geneva, Alabama and the river reading over here to the left is the Choctahatchee River and that's uh, that was the the main river in Geneva there were actually two but that was the main one and it was the one they monitored because it it was the big deal and um, on the left side of the of the chart those are the river readings and uh, it was a gauge reading and she didn't bother to keep up with it real close when it was as low as it was during this period of time so the river reading is almost as low as you will ever see it here in the summer it gets down to about three feet now that doesn't mean the river is three feet deep in the channels it's actually deeper but that's measured to a standard point and the flood stage is 23 feet. So it had 20 feet to go to be a flood. <clears throat> and that's a lot, folks. All right, let's look at here at May at the temperatures. And we're just going to focus from here on on the temperatures. And you notice that the month of May begins with three 94-degree readings. Well, that's not the end of the world, is it? I mean, 94, we can live with that. But... 
94 is starting to get pretty, pretty uncomfortable. So anyway, here we are at 94 degrees. And if you come on down to the very bottom, the last day of the year was 95 degrees. And uh, school let out on the 26th of that month on a Wednesday. You know, it always let out on a Wednesday and then graduation would be on Friday night and whatnot. And it was 90 degrees, so uh, that's not so bad. So May really, you know, not too bad. I just wanted to let you see what was leading up to the big show. Now we're into June. June picks up from that 95 degrees, the way you, the last day of May ended, and it jumps to 97 and 94, 94, 90. So it's, you know, it's, it's warm, but it's not, it's not unbelievable. And then you come on down to June the 9th. And starting on June the 9th for three days in a row, it's 100, 103, and 104 degrees. Now that's hot. And if we look over to the right on uh, Thursday, the 10th, if we look over to the right, that evening there was a little bit of rain, and the next morning on Friday there was some rain. And, and then that kind of seemed to break the heat. Well, of course, the rain doesn't break it, but you know, a cold front came through and it caused it to rain and all that humidity and blah, blah, blah. Okay. But just a few days later, let's see, one, two, three, four days later, it's back to 100 degrees. That's on Tuesday the 15th. And then for four days in a row, four, count them, four, 100 degrees. That's hot, <clears throat> you know, every day. And then on Thursday, the 17th in the afternoon, it rained uh, an inch in four hours. And yet the temperature the next day went to 100 degrees. Oh my goodness. What do you think the humidity would have been <laughs> to have an inch of rain and then 100 degrees? But then the next day it rained again and three quarters of an inch and it kind of broke and it went down to 92. Hey, and then 88. Wow. It's, it's, let's put on our coats, folks. It's getting cold. So everything is back to kind of normal June weather until a few days later on the 24th, it goes back. Well, there's a little warning on the 23rd. It goes to 98 and then it goes to a hundred, a hundred, 99, da, 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 da. On the next to the last day, 106 degrees. You've got seven days in a row. The last seven days of the month of June 1954, it's 99 degrees or more. One, two of the days are 105, and one of those seven days is 106. So in the month of June, you had 13 days where the temperature was 100 degrees or more. 13 out of 30, it was 100 degrees or more. <clears throat> and uh, they got three inches of rain, which is not too bad. The river average has dropped down to um, 3.2 feet. The previous month it was 3.3, now it's down to 3.2. And that's getting pretty low. For those of you who follow that river, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now, Remember, the last seven days were 99 or more. And starting on the beginning of July, we have five more days of 100 plus degrees. So in 12 days, the temperature has been 100 degrees or more with one exception, where it was 99. <sighs> the 4th of July was 102 degrees, you know. Wow, what fun. What fun. And then it drops to 90. Then it comes back up to 100 and a 99, and then it eases down a little bit. And then you got some 97s, a couple of 98s, and a 99. And I don't know about you, but I really can't tell a whole lot of difference between 97 and 101. I, mean, I really can't. I know it is a difference, and I can feel it, but it's not a lot. So all of that was just incredibly hot. So on the 22nd, uh, 
we we're, we're back to uh, back into the hundreds, but all in there. We've had 101s, 99s, 99, 99, and and so forth, and then uh, some 101s, 102, and whatnot. And then the last day of the month of July is 100 degrees. So in the month of July, you had 12 days that were 100 degrees or more with, uh, my bad, my bad. Uh, yes, you had 12 days that were 100 degrees or more in the month of July. That's actually one less than, than June. But then comes August. Oh my word. Let me just tell you right off, 22 days in August are 100 degrees or more. There is a period from the last day of July until the 21st of August. 20 of 22 days are 100 degrees or more. And the two exceptions were 97 and 99. Now, in there, on the... 14th, it got to 107 degrees. And there's a bunch of 106s, 105s, 104s, 103s. But one, as far as I'm aware of, 107 degrees. I, that may be a record. I don't know. But it very well could be. Certainly probably the record for that day. 107 degrees in Geneva on the 14th of August, 1954. And then at the end of the month, it, you know, it dropped a little bit and there was some rain again. It, 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 uh, there were three more days there at the end. So in the entire month, 22 days of 100 degrees or more. And the river now is down to 1.8 feet. I, in modern times, when I've kept up with it and kind of followed that little river down there, I have never seen it go that low. It may. It may do it. But that's important because it tells you how dry it was. I mean, yeah, they got three, three and a half inches of rain that month, but the river's drying up. Everything's drying up just from the heat. You know, there's not enough to replace it. So then we go over to September, and we have seven more days of 100 plus degrees. Now, here's the, here's the interesting thing from September. Uh, on September 6th, that was Labor Day. Well, leading up to Labor Day, you had 101, 95, 95, 98, 99, and then 101 on Labor Day. The next day was Tuesday, the 7th of September. It was 102 degrees. And all us kids started school that day. And, and you remember how hard the air conditioning system had to work in the school to keep us even... Oh, come on, who am I kidding? We didn't have air conditioning in 1954 in the school. Oh, I don't know how we did it. I, I honestly don't. I remember it being hot. Uh, I was in the, I don't know, third grade that time. And I, I, just, I just remember the summer of 54 being really hot. I don't know why, but I, I did. So anyway, school started, and you had uh, the second day of school. Oh, my, it dropped to 99. But then it went to 101, 101, and 101 for the rest of the week and the weekend. So that was a nice, a nice way to start the school year, don't you think? And the water level now in the river is down to 1.6 feet. Okay, here's the bottom line, last thing here of interest. Oh, wait, I will say this. It continued hot, 98, 99, and then on the 15th of September, it broke. There was a period of seven hours of rainfall, wasn't a lot of rain, but it was just a slow steady, and the next day it was 77 degrees for a high, and 83, and got back into the 90s, but not very much, 91s and 2s and 3s, that sort of thing. So that was it. Seven days in September were 100 degrees or more. And finally, here's this. 
1954 in Geneva. You can remember this so easily. In 1954, there were 54 days where it was 100 degrees or more. And folks, that's hot. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little totally off the wall kind of thing, but I found it interesting and I share it with you. For those that tuned out early, no hard feelings. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> like they say in them Broadway shows, it's damn hot. <laughs>